Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Sharp Designs by Lakeisha where I am designing my way through life and inspiring you to do the same. So today I have a setup at the W and Buckhead while I'm home. Um, so I'm doing some colors that are going to kind of match the room. You can kind of see the vibe here. It's kind of like grays. The rug has like navy blues. Um, white and so I have some balloons that actually worked out perfectly from um, a, some past events I have the Sempertex uh, white sand have some Gmar shiny rose gold and some of the pearl midnight blue so I'm going to kind of create a vibe um, here in the room and I'm going to do my best to do step by step for you guys so that you guys can get um, kind of an update and happy this is going to be the first vlog of the new year more than likely this is really a surprise for my friend's birthday but we'll talk a little bit more about that later um so yeah um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get started showed you guys the balloons i got my pump over here so i'm about to get to get you guys propped and get to work And if you're wondering how I got my friend to the hotel without her suspecting anything, um, I had actually told her that I got booked for a last minute event. And it's not unusual for me to ask her to help me if I need help for events. You guys have seen her in quite a few vlogs. Um, so that's what she thought was going on. I told her that the event was going to be early that morning and that the client had went ahead and got me a hotel room so that I can um, get the garland done that night and just take it down that next morning since I was coming from out of town and it was too last minute to get a U-Haul, you know, yada, 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 that whole thing. Um, but I'm just blowing up all the balloons needed for um, this garland. Um, took me about 15 minutes to get them all blown up if you were wondering that as well. So for today's garland, I'm going to be using my 260 balloons to link all of my balloons together. You guys have seen me use Fisher Line as well, but lately I have been preferring the 260 balloons because I don't have to worry about having any balloons pop from pulling too tight. I start off by tying a knot around one of my dupes, which is a pair of balloons that are tied together. And then I take a cluster, link it on top, and then I use my figure eight method to attach it. Um, if you are new here and you're not familiar with my figure eight method, you definitely want to check out some of my original vlogs where I go further into detail. I'll also be doing an updated one for you guys. But to, just to give a little clarity on how that is done, I am picking up a Picking up a pair as you see here, pushing it on top of an existing cluster, tying the 260 across the new cluster, looping it around the existing and coming back up into a figure eight. It sounds really crazy just trying to explain that to you without actually doing it. Um, so again, if you um, can't catch on just from watching this in slow-mo, definitely check out one of my original tutorials. I'll link one below for you guys where I go really, really into depth as far as how I get that done with all different angles and close-ups for you guys to check out. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know exactly what I was doing right here so that, so that you would have a better understanding um, if you were new here. So if you haven't noticed by now, what I decided to do for this garland is use my cluster color blocking method um, to basically get all those colors meshed in really well. I like how the cluster method makes the garlands look. Um, it gets all the colors in without being too busy and having a whole lot going on. Um, and basically when I say color blocking, what I'm doing is taking three or four of the dupes per section and then I switch colors after I get enough of that section and it'll definitely make a difference once I add in those clusters later on on um, which you guys will see and what you can see here now is another angle of me doing my figure eight method taking the new dupe adding it on top of a new dupe and then 
using the 260 balloon to kind of cross over it to attach it and then I make a figure eight as I'm linking it down to an ex to the existing balloons on the garland below. Alright, so this is the base. Gonna get it hung and see how it looks and finish it off and then I'll have to take it back down. This does not say anything about okay, let's call
Well, if that is not the securest balloon, um, go command hooks. So this is how it looks up on the wall right now and then this is how I'm hooking them up. I have my command hooks and then I put a 260 on or you can see it over here and then I wrap this around one of the balloons tie a knot and it's up there let me see if you guys can see somehow Alright guys, so this is what I have done so far. I got the base all hung up. It's on about four or five command hooks. It's cascading down to the side. Should be easy to transport on tomorrow to the uh, other location. Just pop it off the hooks and it looks so cool. I actually do like it. It looks really good in the camera. Looking good. I'm going to go ahead and do the clusters. I have my 260 balloons and my five inches. I'm gonna do a few of them and get those plopped in. Hey guys, so, oh, my curls got falling. You can tell I got hot. Oh, wow. I get hot so easy. Okay, guys, so I'm about to get started with the clusters. I'm on five inches, like I said. I do have a vlog specifically on how to do these. I'm gonna do one with you guys <laughs> briefly. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you kind of how I do it. <laughs> Um, sets of two, three, four, and five. So that was two. Oh, I it's been a while. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think I need to turn it the other way. Uh, I like to blow them up in various sizes so that way it gives the balloon garland a lot more dimension. So this is a cluster of three. So four is up next. I need to turn this around so that I don't blow it out.
then I'll get these attached onto 260s and I would just tie them into the carpet. Happy birthday, dear Shayna. Happy birthday.